to return during troubled times in the United States and was meant to be a very happy song to cheer people up. Even though you may not live in the United States or be going through troubled times, this song will cheer you up anyway. Not only is it a happy song, but it can help you understand tenses too. In this song, you'll find three different types of tenses being used. There's the present tense, the future tense, and finally, the present participle. It's lovely to hear how the wonderful world in this song spans over not only in the present, but also in the future. Present tense is used to refer to something happening currently. Even in the first verse alone, the present tense is used to describe the singer's observations many, many times. Let's have a listen to them. are verbs in the present tense, telling us that the singer is looking at these very things and thinking that very thought now. The present participle is a word that ends with an ing. It can be used to describe an action that occurs but is not yet complete. For example, the line in the song, I see friends shaking hands, uses the present participle shaking. Since it uses a present participle, it means that the singer sees his friends shaking hands in front of him, but they have not yet stopped. A simple way of spotting present participles is the use of an ing. Another really important thing to note is that the different tenses can be used within the same sentence. The line we've just gone through, for example, includes both the present and the present participle. In the sentence, I see friends shaking hands, C is in the present tense, while shaking is in the present participle, as you have spotted above. Finally, there's the future tense. Future tense is used to refer to something that will happen in the future and not now. This can be seen in the line, they'll learn so much more than I'll ever know. They'll is actually a contraction for they will, and I'll a contraction for I will. When you say that something will happen, it means that it's not happening now, but will occur in the future. Hence, you are using the future tense. So the singer is saying that the babies will learn more than he will in the future. There are other ways to indicate the future tense, such as shall, going to, and many more. Remember, as long as it refers to something that is not happening now, but will happen next time, the future tense is being used. So you can see how the singer uses three different tenses to tell us how it is a wonderful world, how this wonderful world has not ended yet and will continue to be wonderful in the future. Isn't that a useful way of applying tenses? Try to use them in your daily speech too and see how that makes it so much easier to describe the wonderful world around you. Now you can continue on to watch the full cover. Make sure to listen out for the pronunciation of some of the harder lyrics and as always, don't forget to sing it out loud. <laughs> 